If you were to ask lots of people what they would think of if you said Norfolk, the vast majority would say the Norfolk Broads. Well, what better place to be today than in the heart of this amazing national park? But today's different because I'm going to tell you a love story. And at the heart of every love affair is passion. And one man's passion for wind, water and engineering was not only going to change his life, but that of my client. So let me take you back to where it all started in 1947, when Europe and the world were recovering after World War II. This derelict mill back in 1947 captured the heart of Ronald Morse. He knew at once that this was going to be his labour of love for the rest of his life. Unique is a word that's often overused, but here it really does apply. Ronald saw a vision, an engineer from Sussex, he decided that love took over, but a love of wind, engineering, history and Norfolk and all of those combined have created one man's vision that was then taken on by the current owner and has become a real passion. It really is like walking through heritage. It's so ironic that in 2022 so much focus from the government and the world in general is about renewable energy. With some of these being more than 200 years old, ironic how they were ahead of their time. Thurn Mill has inspired so many people, so many tourists, so many locals, and is such an iconic landmark that the current owner decided that in later life she wanted to do an A-level in photography, which was her passion. And what more to inspire her than Thurn Mill? And that became the subject of her dissertation and her connection with Ronald Morse. In 2001, passed her A-level. And shortly after that, contacted Ronald Morse to thank him for all of his efforts and contribution. Ronald invited Deborah to assist him in creating this museum and the running of it on a day-to-day -day basis. But the timing wasn't right for her. But in 2003, she decided with her husband that actually they would help him and move up here and built the cabin that we can see today. Deborah was suddenly brought into the world that she had formerly just seen through her camera lens. Luckily for Deborah, she had too got the bug. And when in 2007, Ronald sadly passed away, he left the cottage, the museum and Thurn Mill to Deborah to continue his vision turning a passion into a business that not only locals could see, but people could come and visit and actually be captured by the world that they loved. Some children make Meccano models, others make Lego, but for Ronald Morse, he turned his passion using papier-mâché into making scale models of mills. Well, this is Thurn Mill, which he made before he came to Norfolk. Little did he know that he would go on to buy it. Many people sit and watch the world go by. Here, you watch the wind. Something so silent can be so poetic. If Thurn Mill and the Wind Energy Museum have caught your imagination, and you want to give it its happy ever after. Contact us.